If you don't find him attractive, don't give him a chance just because he's nice. Men never give women chances just because they're nice. If they don't think you're cute, they're not even going to look in your direction. welcome to my channel if you're new here i sit on my bed my couch and i give you 100 authenticity of myself because that's what we do on this channel we sit and discuss and you're more than welcome to give your opinion but before we do that we're going to talk about today's sponsor me yes i speak myself as a sponsor because i'm calling it into uh, manifestation a manifestation 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 i am manifesting but anyways, let's dive into today's sponsor, me. Okay, guys, I'm raising um, funds for my cows and we're planning to move up the mountain. We've managed to raise about 4,000 right? That's like 2,000, that's like 200,000, 210 rand, 50, no, $200 and 10 dollars. Cents. Okay, I'm not American, but I wanted to put it in American so that you can guys understand because I seem to have American followership and uh, people who are donating. So thank you for those who are donating. I am happy that you are donating. It means a lot to me. <laughs> so let's dive into today's video listen if you don't find this man attractive if you don't find this man the most amazing thing that you could ever look at and no, no, no i love this video so much that i don't want to look at it again roll the clip please if you don't find him attractive don't give him a chance just because he's nice men never give women chances just because they're nice if they don't think you're cute they're not even going to look in your direction if your coochie is not throbbing when you look at this man he is not the one your body needs to be trembling you need to be pulsating when you look at him or he's not the one men will eventually disappoint you anyway at least don't let an ugly nigga disappoint you see that that's what i'm gonna see my coochie needs to drop i need to look at you and be like I'm done, I'm done being charitable I'm joking like I'm still gonna be charitable but not in, in that not romantically <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna do that romantically never again I'm not it's just not worth my time and my energy because um, when they are okay they go to their type they go to the women who are uh, they they've always wanted to uh, be with you know the the emperors the china those kind of bad things those are the women within their taste women who treat them like shit so usually when people complain about people treating them like shit that might my business be because you don't know some people like it you'll be surprised just how much people like being treated like shit you'll be surprised because the minute you are nice to them they want the opposite of what they don't want it's weird but yeah it's kind of like human beings they're like oh well i want peace and joy you know you don't want peace you know you like drama you like chaos you like somebody hurting you because you want to cry <laughs> the fuck but anyways guys we're gonna speak about this basically we're gonna speak about this so let's ditch the rest of the comments and i'll see you in the next one this filter got me look like a bad bitch. <laughs> That's not why we here. I just want to know, it be throbbing when we look good? <laughs> Tell me. Let me feel. Hey, no, but can we talk about this one, y'all? Because I've said it once and I'm going to say it again. Ladies, please, please stop dating males who are not fine as hell to you, okay? Stop entertaining males that are anything less than a five to you and even that's pushing it, to be quite honest. Because the way society has pressured us into undervaluing the importance of physical attraction is so offensive to me. Because these males will be the hunchback of Notre Dame personified and won't settle for anything less than an eight to them. And yet here you are out on a date with Quasimodo trying to see if he's funny and smells good. Girl, stand up. No, I'm not saying that physical attraction is the end all be all, but it's the 
first thing that should be getting them in the door. Trust me when I say the last thing you want to do is go through the growing pains of a relationship with somebody you're not attracted to. And you also don't want to risk getting played by somebody you're not attracted to. So sis, do yourself a huge favor and make sure that they're fine so you ain't wasting your time, okay? I've said this before and I don't care whoever gets mad. Do not date someone who's not your type or not your league. And I know y'all are getting a little bit desperate. You've been single for a while and there's that guy that likes you and you're kind of like... Okay, maybe. Don't do it. Don't do it. You think he's gonna treat you better? He won't. The guy that you originally had no chemistry with, that's the one that will end you up in therapy. Every time. And I always say he should be the one that likes you just a little bit more for things to work out. As in, he has to be the more obsessed one. But the initial chemistry is still very important. Do not proceed if you feel nothing. Like zero. And also like, call me superficial, I don't give a fuck. If you get your heart broken, you might as well do that with someone you find hot. If you enjoyed today's video, please click like, subscribe, and please don't forget to support, support the farms, the houses, everyone donating. <laughs> but anyway, guys, if you want to donate, you can. There's a PayPal, and I look forward to hearing from you. So thank you for those who've been donating. And, um... Toodles. Don't forget to like, subscribe. I keep saying weird things, but you get what I'm saying if you've been on this channel.